is this person really a narcissist? The general public has very little awareness about personality disorders. Even though they are very pervasive and destructive, and we often learn about these psychological disorders the hard way by enduring years of trauma and abuse at the hands of someone we assume as normal. The abuse that's inflicted by a narcissist is one of the most devastating forms of psychological and emotional abuse that someone can endure. This video is particularly to clarify the confusion for people who suspect that the person in question does have narcissistic personality disorder, but they don't quite meet all the criteria for that personality disorder, or they only display a couple of the traits that define the condition. One of the main reasons why we are so confused about narcissism is because it's so difficult to diagnose the disorder. And narcissism exists on a continuum, on a spectrum, with many shades and variations. And we're still learning a lot about personality disorders. We tend to throw around the word narcissist, but the actual diagnosis of the mental health condition, NPD, actually takes a lot of thorough assessment by a trained mental health professional. And the main problem with narcissists is that they will not seek help for their mental health condition because merely suggesting that they might have a mental health disorder will evoke rage because it threatens their sense of superiority. That's why most people who unknowingly are involved with someone who's a narcissist will spend most of their time convinced that they are the source of the problem. People involved with narcissists will suffer anxiety, depression, and long-term will develop symptoms of complex post-traumatic stress disorder, which they completely will be unaware of as being linked to the relationship with an undiagnosed narcissist. All narcissists know exactly what they're doing. They do know right from wrong, but they just don't care. Narcissism has subcategories. For example, there are overt narcissists, covert narcissists, cerebral and somatic. So the reason why we are often confused about what narcissistic personality disorder is, is because NPD is often comorbid with other mental health problems. Comorbidity means the presence of one or more additional disorders. So it's when two or more disorders occur in the same person simultaneously. And comorbidity also includes the interactions between these illnesses and disorders that affect the way this person presents. Take, for example, one of the most commonly confused comorbidity, which is NPD with BPD also known as the borderline narcissist. So this person will display both narcissistic personality disorder and borderline personality disorder. And this can be extremely confusing. Borderline personality disorder will present as someone who is very impulsive. They have trouble regulating their emotions and they swing with great emotional intensity. They're very self-destructive and they can come across as very needy, clingy, and they have a great fear of abandonment. They crave constant attention and they can become paranoid and violent. Life with a borderline narcissist will make you walk on eggshells because of their extreme emotional swings, where one minute you feel that they're nice and they care for you, and the next minute they hate you, and they may start behaving violently. A person with borderline personality disorder is also very black and white in their thinking, and they view people or themselves as either all good or all bad. And the similarity between NPD and BPD is that people with these personality disorders will idealize and devalue the same person. And both these personality disorders share similar defense mechanisms, which is denial and projection. However, people with BPD tend to have somewhat of an awareness that their behavior is destructive, whereas 
People with narcissistic personality disorder or who are on the scale of that disorder show no remorse and have no empathy and they are completely unaware of their destructive and abusive behavior. So you can see if BPD exists in the same person as NPD, it can be extremely confusing. So narcissistic personality disorder can appear with other cluster B personality disorders such as histrionic, borderline, which I just mentioned, antisocial. You may also have heard of the term narcopath. So if any of the other personality disorders are overlapping, this will make it very confusing to comprehend what is going on with this person. And then if you throw in substance abuse, it really complicates the picture. So I hope this gives you a little bit more clarity as to why the person in question in your life may not be ticking all the boxes for narcissistic personality disorder. With all of that being said, let's not get too caught up with specific labels. And remember that abuse is abuse. A healthy relationship doesn't drag you down, but inspires you to become a better person.